Thanks for stopping by guys and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be looking at a new APC design. This is the APC Mark IV Mink. Now, this isn't really the most practical design I've had and simply one of those things I built just for fun. The goal of the APC is to make a, well, a crew carrier that has the ability to fight back. Um, honestly, like I said, it's just a build for fun, just to goof around. Now, there was some inspiration taken from the American Bradley with some of the turret shapes and the front of the actual vehicle. However, it was mostly just really fit to form. The biggest thing with this is the seats on the inside. They take up a lot of room and the whole vehicle had to pretty much form around these four seats in the back. So, just a quick look at it from the outside and let's head inside. They do have a little bit of a walking ramp. This is also inspired a little bit by the Bradley. Come in, you have four seats. Now, you do have to be careful with getting in and out of these seats because the roof is literally right above it. For the most part, these back two, you don't have a big issue. Just immediately crouch after getting out of the seat and you should be fine. These front two, you can have some issues if you're on a slope, but for the most part, they should be fine and put you into the interior. Now opening and closing the hatch, of course, you've seen the button on the outside. There is one on the inside, so as soon as you come in, you can hit that button, close it behind you, and there's also one right here for the door as well. So it can hold five in total for passengers and one driver gunner. As you can see, here he is. This uses the same turret design that was used in the little mini KV-1 cosmetic tank I did. So the actual elevation mechanism is right here in the front of the gun. This is connected with a linking arm all the way to the back, which is what actually moves the ammo. Now, even though the spud guns aren't tilted because the cardboard is being tilted, the game calculates momentum transfer a bit differently, so it fires like it should. Or like you would want it to, I should say. And even though the round doesn't go straight through the barrel, it does just pass through this cheek right here and goes downrange like it should. Or like you'd expect it to now that we've figured out cannons. So I can just simply aim. Fire and hit the tree. Now this does use the kind of standardized electric turret base. So nothing fancy, no stabilizers, no auto loaders, just pretty much the bare minimum you would need to defend an APC. Now we can drive around. Because it is extremely top heavy and the tracks are surprisingly short, I was able to get this rather compact. Um, so if I actually grab an MBT, such as the Chimera, you can see a bit of a size comparison. The Mink is definitely taller. Oh, and the barrel stuck out on the Chimera and touched the Mink. That's a frame rate issue. Let's get this put up real quick. As you can see, the, Kami, or the mink is significantly taller, but the mink is surprisingly not as wide and especially nowhere near as long. Which is pretty, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. A compact APC with a 12 power single shot cannon. I'm actually really happy with this. Well, but there are some downsides, of course, because the very narrow and short track base means you have a lot of bob when stopping and going. But once you get it up to speed, it rolls quite well. You got some high maneuverability here, so you can dodge shells pretty easily. And it's pretty reliable. I'm happy with it overall. So 
So one thing to note, it's kind of not exactly special, but I'm surprised it is like this. The turret itself, like I said, is based off the KV-1 design that I did earlier, uh, like a couple weeks ago, I think. And as a result, the turret itself is rather compact. Now, mind you, it is only a single shot, so there is that. But if I go down here and the door has jammed and I need to get on my lift because as soon as I cut this, it's going to want to run away. Go ahead. You know what? Let's just delete that. Yeah. This is the lift itself. Or not the lift, this is the turret itself. The only thing in the turret basket is the seat. Everything else is above the turret ring and inside the turret itself. Other than the engines which drive everything, which are actually in the front of the mink. The engines that drive the turret are on the front, the engines that drive the whole vehicle are directly below the seat. And these compact turrets, I think are really nice and really adorable, especially with how small this turret basket is. They could be put in a lot more creations like this, as long as you have somewhere to stuff those engines away. This is a really nice turret for compact builds. I'm really happy with this. I'm, I'm overall just really, really happy with how this turned out. The turret's compact, the turret's functional, and it also... Uh, I guess you could say it also expanded on this whole turret layout and design for compact turrets. The actual crew compartment was much more compact than I've done before. It overall looks well, turned out well, functions well, and I'm really, really happy with it. I can't overstate just how well this actually turned out, especially for something that was a goofy build I did in just a little bit of time. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. Enjoy the channel, enjoy what I'm doing. It helps out a lot if you'd share the video. So, if you did enjoy, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around. Until next time, let me hop in. Peace.